Uh, okay, so uh, again, uh, we'll just uh, uh, go through today. We'll be going through this uh, level uh, blueprint and a uh, class blueprint again, and uh, we'll be starting with uh, what is the difference between level and class blueprint, and we'll see uh, some simple logic uh, with it. Uh, we'll also try to create some kind of uh, door opening and closing kind of uh, scene, and uh, we will also uh, see uh, like coin collecting particular objects so how uh, how we can just use some kind of coins and uh, uh, last uh, we'll just uh, try to see that uh, over here okay so again uh, just now in this particular scene what i have done it over here is uh, i just uh, switched off the light in the starting so uh, whenever the character goes uh, near this particular uh, place so at that time the light uh, should be switched on so first thing what I have done is I had selected a light and uh, switch off the visibility of that. So this uh, visibility is off for that. And we will start by creating some kind of level blueprint for this and then we'll go for uh, class blueprint. And then we'll see different uh, uh, level and class blueprint. What is the difference between this? Okay. So now to start with uh, this particular level a blueprint over here so if i just go on this uh, list of world prints and here we have something called open level blueprint okay so if i'll just open that so it will start with this kind of uh, uh this thing a uh, viewport over here so inside this uh, what we need to do is whatever the uh, object i have selected over here so you need to keep selecting that object and you need to right click over here and when you click right click and here you have this create a reference to the point light so this is the first thing which will be uh, creating it over here and now what we want to uh, do with this particular light so uh, what i want to do inside this particular scene is uh, whenever the character goes near to that so we need to switch on the visibility of that light so we'll just click it over here and you can just press uh, toggle visibility or set visibility so uh, I'll just have this option so if I just click on the set so there is uh, you can also type visibility so there is something called set visibility so you can just click on that and we can open uh, this so these are the different uh, components so this is the point light component over here and here it is telling that uh, now here is this is the property where the set visibility is on so now uh, we need to add something called uh, trigger box over here so uh, whenever the character enters in certain region of that so it should uh, switch on the light so we need to create one more option actor over here so if i just click it so here we have something called trigger box so i just need to drag and drop this into the scene and when I just drag and drop this, I can adjust the uh, values of it over here. So you can just see there are different uh, properties of that over here. So if I just move it on the left side, we can just see here. And here we have location and here we have the box content. So I'll just increase the size of this. So this is the region, uh, uh, how much the character. So if the character enters within this region, the light will get off. When the character goes out of this region, so uh, the light should switch off or switch on that we can decide it so now uh, by selecting this trigger box again what you have to do is you can just right click over here so you can also create a reference point from that and uh, here uh, you need to enable uh, certain properties over here so what i want to enable over here is uh, character overlap event over here so uh, you can just type begin so i have this actor begin uh, event over here so i can just use that to uh, make this so let's admit so okay so once i enable that over here so i can just select this and what i want to do is i need to switch on and switch off this uh, light over here so for that you can enable from here left click left click leave and make it toggle so we have this toggle visibility so i can just use that over here and from here we can just connect to this over here. okay so this is what we have this particular script and you need to compile that so once I click on this compile 
now I can just close this so that is our first thing and I'll just play and check that what happens into the scene so now my character is there so when it goes near that uh, particular place now the light is on so when the character goes out of that again if I move the character close to that again the light gets off because uh, we need to define again uh, what will happen so it triggers that so every time it goes near to that so if it is on it will get off otherwise uh, so that again it is off and it will goes on so if the light is on if the character is moving towards that it gets off so uh, if you want to define like the when the character goes out of that region uh, the light should get off so again what we have to do is again I have to go to this blueprint level blueprint again so this time I need to make sure that I need to uh, write an event over here so like uh, when the character goes off so end when the character goes out of that we it should uh, switch off so again you can just press tab uh, by selecting this and type end so I have this end overlap option over here so once I go to this top add-on uh, actor and overlap so I'll just bring that over here and again uh, we can just see that so I just need to connect this again over here so it is like true or false uh, so when it goes out it should get off now again you can just click on this compile and I'll just close that and I'll just play this again over here and now let's see this so what happens when it goes back it will switch off when it goes near it switch on okay so now here so uh, like this you can create uh, any kind of level blueprint over here so let's save this so go to file and let's save all so I have done for this one light so for this also if you just want to do the same thing uh, whenever the character goes near to that particular light uh, you want to switch on or switch off so we can also do that uh, same way so we have this one uh, thing over here uh, inside this again go to this option uh, let's go for level open level blueprint now again and again for this also we need to create the uh, reference point for that and we need to enable the visibility for that so right click and let's add to create a reference for the spotlight again drag and this time you can directly go the toggle visibility toggle visibility spotlight we have this so we can just use this now what place uh, so we need to again add some kind of trigger box over here so I can just drag and drop this inside this place and uh, you can adjust the size of this so just make it so give enough uh, space for the character to go inside it now we have this another trigger box which will uh, switch on the light let's fix okay so that is trigger box 2 so again uh, you can just right click and this time overlap you can also type overlap or you can also type begin over here so when I type this over uh, and you you can see that so overlap act actor add an actor on end overlap and begin overlap both the things come so you can just bring that and this time you can just directly connect it over here to this toggle visibility again press tab type over so uh, again we have this again click it drag and drop and again you can just need to compile it so this is how we can just use uh, level blueprint and let's close that and let's play this over here the simulation so now there is no light over here inside the scene let's move it close so light is on so now this character is not close uh, so now as soon as it goes again the light gets on it goes off yeah so this is working fine uh, so any of the light when the character is going it is switching off and uh, whenever this side when it goes it gets switched on okay so this is like a simple uh, level uh, functionality which we have added for that 
so this is the level component and uh, whenever i am just using into a different level uh, i'll not be able to use that uh, particular uh, level functionality so for that we need to write something uh, suppose if you want to store some information inside this uh, level right whatever this is information i want to store and i want to use that same information in an any other project or uh, any other map or any other level so i need to write uh, a class a uh, blueprint for that okay so this is one thing which you can use it and suppose if you want to use uh, some kind of class blueprint uh, over here so we can just use that also so again if you want to hide some kind of static mesh also so uh, you can also do it over here uh, using uh, that same level blueprint so for that if you want to add something like some box is there and that has to disappear uh, inside this uh, place so we can also use that uh, over here inside this so to do that again uh, what we have to do is again i'll just open this blueprint and this time let's create some kind of object over here so uh, let's go for this actor or let's create any kind of static object which we have if i just go to shapes or if i just go to the geometry we have certain objects so let's go and drag and drop this object over here okay so for this object also what i can just use it uh, you can use the same thing open level blueprint so i need to select that particular object and go for again open level a uh, blueprint and again you can just right click create a reference for the cube left click and drag now visibility so toggle or we also have this option called destroy actor also there is one more thing uh, which you can use it so if the character moves towards that particular uh, object over here so uh, it should destroy that particular object and here also we have execution so what will happen is it will uh, destroy it, that object won't be there so even this is one way so let's go with the visibility first and then i'll just show with this uh, also so what will happen with the visibility so let's use that and let's use toggle visibility first so it is just going to hide that uh, static mesh so when i use this but when you use the destroy uh, it is going to remove that whole object from that particular scene now we have the toggle visibility so let's add again uh, go to the actor and let's add this trigger box again in the same place just move it closer and let's fix it over here so this should be a little bigger size so box extent i can increase it now so this is done and uh, now i can just select that trigger box right click and uh, again overlap let's try this with this Okay. so only one uh, time again uh, if you just want to use the same thing for uh, end also so let's right click overlap again this time end add on actor uh, end overlap again and let's use this also over here so let's compile this now and see that what will happen uh, in this case so my character is there let me go over here switch on this light come back to this box now yeah. so it is hiding the box whenever this goes out again it comes back and what is happening is we we are not able to move through this we can just see that there is still the static object remains there only so uh, it is just hidden the visibility of that object it is not uh, destroying that particular object over here inside this okay so for that uh, what you can do is you can just use a, a destroy actor so uh, we have the same thing instead of toggle visibility if you just want to use that as a destroy actor inside this uh, so we can just use that directly over here so that is the same thing what we have it uh, over here so you can just use that as a destroy actor so i have selected the cube i'll just use over here name it as destroy
okay so this i don't need and let's try to check that and whether this works uh, over here So go back and then what happens with this now we can just see that it has taken that and uh, even if i like this is like a coins or something which you have and even if the character goes out of that now there is nothing uh, which is colliding with this object it has totally destroyed that object or removed that object from this particular uh, scene so you can just see that now it will not come back that uh, object over here so you can destroy any of the objects suppose you this is a character which has to eat all these trees. Uh, so one by one, uh, this is the character which is going close to that tree and it has to eat uh, that each of these trees. So we can just use the uh, thing over there. So if you just want to use that now, even we can use for this also. So okay, so dismiss this. Okay, so it might show some kind of error, but it's fine. So we can just uh, use it over here. So there is some message okay so we need to make sure that uh, okay now clear that it's fine okay so now it is done now we can just uh, uh, see that another uh, thing so if you want to destroy this also we can just use the same thing uh, for this particular mesh also if you want to uh, make it hide or something so we have something like this tree so instead of this object you can also use this uh, certain tree bring that down okay so this is all about the class uh, which you uh, you want to destroy this mesh also you can just do it so same way so i'll just again go to this open uh, level blueprint just zoom out let's create right click now create from that as well use this this time again destroy And again, so you need to have some kind of collision object. So let's use this box again for this. And scale this. So in the class level, we have to do a, write a different thing. But when inside this uh, level blueprint, we'll just see that what we can do it uh, inside this particular thing. So once this is done, now again, uh, what you can do is you can just uh, create that event. So press tab right click overlap so this is one uh, which you can use it let's create that now compile it now play it so we have this nice character let's come back so it will start going near to this it eats this particular object it has to go near to that it is also going to eat that particular object and now we have this nice thing. so like uh, there are a lot of coins and you want to collect all these coins uh, inside this particular scene so you can also use this kind of uh, level uh, blueprint over here and now we can just see that so everything uh, wherever it goes it want to eat all of this uh, trees means we can just uh, add a collision for that and you can just try uh, adding that for this so that's one uh, collider which you can uh, use it okay so it is just fine you can just clear no problem okay so we need to use a third person uh, character for this that's why it is showing some kind of error uh, for that so I'll just show you inside the class also how we can just use that uh, inside this class blueprint when you are adding that what we have to do. So this is uh, way which you can use the level uh, blueprint or but uh, when you want to use a some kind of class uh, blueprint now so uh, we can just go over here again and here we can just we can store that information and we can use the same information in any level also so that's what this uh, empty uh, class blueprint we can just start by creating so let's create this and click on this actor and this time what I want to do is I need to give name uh, for this as a uh, something like score coins so I'll just name that as a score coins save it and now when we are writing the class uh, blueprint so it will open 
uh, another viewport like this and inside this we need to start adding uh, different uh, things over here okay so now to start adding that uh, over here so what you can do is you can just click on this add and here we can just add a static mesh to the scene so click on static mesh and here we can choose what is the on the right side you can just see the details of that here we can choose uh, what kind of static mesh we want to add for that so if i just click on this option and here we can just choose any of this cylindrical shape or anything let's choose something or here like cylinder so i'll just add that uh, so let's see all this levels first save all and let's scale this down and then to rotate it in this axis so make it 90 degree so you can just save it. so we have this uh, coin so I'll just save keep on compiling and save it so I have this particular thing and I need to add some kind of uh, texture also for this so go to this here we have the material option let's add some kind of material also uh, for the scene so click it over here and I can just select something like gold uh, coin right so you can just go over here so there is different materials so i just use this gold coin save it and we have this okay so now uh, another mesh which we need to add it uh, over here uh, so we can just add another uh, mesh also over here so this is the static mesh and you need to add another uh, mesh like a collision so you need to click on this add and type collision we have this box collision and I can just scale that little bigger size and we have this okay so once you add that uh, now we can just use uh, whatever the uh, collision you want to add for that and uh, you can just write so now to write anything uh, for this particular object uh, we have to go to this event graph so you can just select go to the event graph and we have the static mesh I can just drag and drop this over here and uh, what is the event you want to add for this you can just left click and leave that over here and you need to make it as okay so destroy actor so you can just uh, search for destroy actor or destroy uh, component over here so there is different options which you can use it uh, for this so if you want to destroy that particular component uh, you can just use that over here let's try okay so once you have done this destroy now i can just use that overlap event for this uh, so you can just again uh, right click so overlap so add so this is what I need to add it for this uh, overlap event over here and now uh, we can just connect that to this so what will happen over here so I just need to connect uh, this to that over here okay so this is what uh, one thing which we have it now what is the thing which you need to uh, destroy so if I'm just clicking it over here and uh, I'll just use uh, something like third so we have this uh, we need to use this in this case so cast to blueprint uh, be third person character so i'll just use that this over here okay and from here we can just connect to this so other object uh, you can just connect it over here now we have this this how uh, this whole connection uh, will be for that and you can just compile this and close that and we have this coins over here okay so now if you just start playing that over here yeah so yeah so it is open now so now we'll just start adding uh, the elements to this uh, so once it is open uh, let's create add and this time we'll just use a static and we'll just give the name for that so static mesh and as soon as you give name it as coin new so I have this so once you have done that now I can just import that mesh over here so let's load some kind of mesh so let's add the cylinder so 
so go over here let's add this cylinder tube shape tube which we have uh, let's see this so anything that we can use this so we have the shape cylinder so let's use the shape cylinder this time and save compile it and I'll just uh, reduce the size of this now so keep saving that uh, so if it crashes we'll have 90. save it and let's change the material to gold again come up over here give the gold material for this so we have this okay so now we have this particular material so now uh, what we can do is we can just start adding so you need to deselect this when you are adding uh, anything to it so just deselect that thing save it compile it and then you just add uh, whatever the element so I just need to add a collision so box collision let's add that let's scale it into a bigger size Okay. now deselect that also let's add another light also inside the scene so add point light add one more point light also and let's change this uh, intensity for that okay so save and compile it and we have this whole uh, scene over here so we can just see that the coin is there now we need to write uh, the uh, events for that so go to the event graph so what should happen uh, with this coin so you can just bring that coin over here and now uh, once you click on that so what should happen is over here is uh, it should destroy uh, the coin if the character moves towards that uh, it should destroy that particular coin so you can you can just click it over here and name it as destroy component so I can just click on that now it will destroy so whenever the character moves towards that here. so now I need to make sure that what is the region uh, where the character should be so I need to select this collision so again right click and on overlap what should happen so we should write overlap over here and if I just go to this first thing uh, add on begin overlap so what should happen for this particular uh, scene so save compile it let's uh, keep it keep on doing that and from here uh, again what you need to do is you need to tell that that particular character when it goes uh, into that region uh, it should disappear so you can just left click drag and this time you need to make sure that third person character which we have it over here so third you type and you have this cast to bp third person character so once you click on that now I have this so from here you can connect to this target what should happen and other actor should be the object over here so now I have done this whole uh, thing so wherever the character goes now uh, it will keep on uh, destroying that so save it compile it and let's close that and let's drag and drop this character over here so I can just use a multiple uh, thing over here so if you want to use that so double click on this again what I want to do is I feel that the intensity of that light is too much so come to that intensity over here reduce the intensity of light so you can just check while doing that over here so this is fine and let's make it more so if I just give a different color it will be good uh, so when it is collecting that we can just see it more properly let's give this one close that and let's use this little bit of more intensity yeah this is this will be fine and again save and compile yes over here and let's uh, play and check this so let's play that uh, play, play in the editor yeah so we have some of this over here so go back and let's come to this so it is going now uh, so yeah so there is some error which is showing we will just see what is that error is over here yeah yeah so it is taking that actually and uh, it goes off uh, so we can just see this is what we need to write uh, 
this whole uh, thing over here so when you are writing that uh, scene so it is going to destroy that component and then uh, it goes back okay so this is all about this uh, using this coin uh, or anything which are you're writing the blueprint so you can just use that over here so any other thing is there nothing so it's fine okay so i can just create the same uh, thing with the new uh, level so let's go for this new level and if I just have uh, some level like this uh, over here, so if I just want to start with some level, so create, okay, so save selected, whatever it is there. Yeah. Now again, if you just want to drag and drop this over here. So we have the coin. I just want uh, another thing uh, over here like opening door kind of uh, thing if you want to create so if the character goes near to that particular object or something uh, the door should open and uh, the door should close or uh, it, uh, that kind of scene if you ever just want to use it so for that also you need to create again new empty class again go for the actor so name it as door opening and just save it so now it has opened now again uh, you need to go for add uh, let's add a static mesh and name it as door okay so here let's import the door also so let's import door so we have two of this so door frame is there door is there so i need to bring this door over here and also I'll just bring the uh, door mesh also so again you add another static mesh and name it as door frame so this is another static mesh and let's use the door frame over here okay so that you can place it in this proper place and now we have this over here so we have the door and there is proper position you can place it now this is done okay so once you have like this uh, door and this thing now what we can do it over here is uh, we can add uh, some uh, script for it so we have this and we also need to have something called collision object over here so go to this and name it as collision box collision let's bring that over here and uh, we can just scale that move this up let's scale it much more bigger size again move this so we have this uh, nice box collision uh, which is over there so now we have everything over here go to the graph and what should happen for the door so that is what we need to add it so what this drag and drop left click and this time we need to uh, set the rotation for it so set or you just type rotation and you have something over here so we can just set that we can just see set uh, relative rotation which we have it so click on that and we have this rotation for the door so if you just right click over here if you want to separate each of this uh, pin into separate separate we have this so now if you just type it 45 or 90 degree let's type it 90 degree so what should happen for this if you just compile it over here and save that let's save it and compile it over here and let's close that let's bring this door into the scene okay so we have this so, so if i just start playing that over here okay so there is let's play that okay 
so what is happening over here is we didn't tell what has to happen over here uh, because we didn't add any kind of event for the collision now for that so just open that and here uh, so what should happen in the start so if i just give this begin event play and if you just click it over here and drag it and connect this and now let's compile this and if i just do that over here so it's okay let's play in the editor so what is happening over here is you can just see that already the door is open 90 degree uh, with this so that means this particular uh, screen is working uh, over here okay so what we can do now uh, inside this uh, particular scene uh, so uh, if you just double click again now we need to tell that what should happen and when the door should open for that so if i just open this box uh, thing which is the collider now on overlap event we need to add same thing so right click on overlap search for overlap so we have this uh, add on uh, component begin overlap or so this is what we need to connect to this uh, thing or okay so this is done now instead of this uh, what you can do is you can connect from here to there okay so now I have this overlap event and now what will happen over here is uh, if the character goes close to that region it should automatically open that over here so let's close that and let's open this now again it keeps on asking the same now let's okay so what is happening over here is it is suddenly opening uh, so uh, as soon as the character goes to that it is suddenly opening over there but if you want something like uh, it should open slowly uh, it should not go like a within a single frame it should uh, jump to open the uh, door right so uh, it is suddenly going from one frame it is suddenly going from zero to uh, uh, one or a 90 degree so it is very fast so if you want something like if the character goes and it should slow down so we need to add one more event for this so if i just click it over here so we need to add a timeline So we have something called add timeline event so that I will be adding to this and from here it goes to that uh, over here and we need to tell that uh, timing for this so if you just do so you need to give some kind of keyframe for that particular uh, or for doing that animation over here so for that you need to double click on this and click create a track and add a float track so once I add now I can just hold shift and click it over here so it will add one keyframe again shift and click it will add another keyframe so name it as one and this time the value also should be one for this and this should be zero okay so we have done with this again I can just uh, go to this graph and we have this new track from here it should connect to this rotation now what will happen is it will go from uh, there to that particular value but before that now it is like just only one value so what we can do is we can also add one more node over here so let's use another node called multiply and I'll just make this 100 and from here I'll just connect it to this okay so now it will have this nice and uh, nice uh, movement over here so once I add it let's compile this save this whole thing compile it again and let's close that and let's play that over here so it keeps doing this and now we have this now if i just go see this okay so it is having this nice uh, uh, opening movement over here so it is giving some kind of animation for the door to open uh, once we add this uh, timeline over here okay so there is one more thing what we need to uh, do it over here is when the character pass through that uh, uh, door so it should automatically close also so again by selecting this uh, trigger what we have it over here so let's go to this box and uh, again right click end so uh, end overlap so let's go for this now so when I go for this add on component over here and this time what I will do 
so again you can just select this uh, component so we have this and this time I want to reverse the animation so again the door will close okay so if you want to add certain delay for this you can also add certain delay so left click and leave that over here and you can type delay so we have certain delay also so you want to add certain delay so delay length for that so you can just add certain delay so how much delay you want 0.5 point five for that and let's compile this again so this certain error for this delay length which is happening uh, I think I need to get something from here let's add uh, this is the time also I can just set it over here so we have certain time also from that I can just connect from here to the reverse of that okay so you can give certain time also uh, for this if I just give one yeah so I think it should work now there's some error with this uh, okay so delay is having some issue let's go for this let's check this first compile and check that you can just use the things and check it play that yeah so it is having that actually uh, it is having the same timing it is not having certain fast movement because we have already given the time over there I don't have to add the delay in this case so if it goes back you can just see that it is taking the same animation and it is reversing uh, in the same time okay so if the character passes through that the door again closes if again it comes over here again it opens then again it so this works fine so you can just see it just stay there for some time then move it and then go out of yeah, so this works uh, with this okay so this is what one thing which we are having it over here and uh, yeah so this is what uh, we can do inside this blueprint uh, so this is called class blueprint and uh, you can work with this okay